are beautiful people. Greetings to you all and welcome to Nanaba's Kitchen. And if you're new to Nanaba's Kitchen, I would like to say a very warm welcome to you and thank you for stopping by. Please be sure to subscribe and click on that bell so you don't miss out on any videos I upload. I will be very, very grateful. Today on the menu, I have a quick, really good kitchen hack for you. Something that has been requested and I have been eager to present. My homemade curry powder. Now this curry powder brings bold flavors to your savory dishes. I used it in my most recent Thie Boudin recipe, which is red rice and fish national dish of Senegal. I also used it in my very first jollof rice video. <laughs> so throw back, go watch that video. It brought very bold, lovely flavors to it as well. I've also featured it in my coconut curry red snapper stew uh, recipe. You will love that. All those recipes are linked below for your convenience. Please watch them. Without further ado, let me wash my hands so we can begin. All right, friends, so let's dive right in. For the ingredients, I have pre-measured them. I have one cup of turmeric, one third a cup of ginger powder, one third a cup of coriander seeds, one sixth a cup of black peppercorns, one third a cup of fennel seeds, and one sixth a cup of cumin seeds. For these four ingredients, they happen to be in their whole form. So I'm going to roast them to release their flavor and their oils, which will intensify the curry powder flavor in the end. I have a skillet in which I'm going to be roasting my whole ingredients in. Okay, beginning with my coriander seeds. black peppercorns, fennel seeds, and the cumin. It is time to roast these lovely ingredients to release their flavors. We're going to roast these for under a minute. You don't want to go beyond a minute, otherwise you'll burn your ingredients. Before we hit a minute, you will start smelling the fragrance. Take it off of the range so it can start cooling down. It has been cooling down. Our warm spices have cooled down and the fragrance. Wow, what a punch. We're ready to blend them up. All right, friends, we are almost done preparing our homemade curry powder. So far, we have blended our coriander seeds, black peppercorns, fennel seeds, and the cumin as well into this powdery consistency. And because we roasted the ingredients prior to blending them, 
the oils were released. The oils is what really carry the, the fragrance and the aroma. And because of that, look at this clump that was formed. And it's the oils that's make, causing these clumps, all right, that you can break apart. It, it makes all the difference when you use the ingredients in their whole form. All right, so now we're going to combine this mixture with turmeric powder. Ginger powder. All right, so now let's go ahead and combine all of our ingredients so it is completely combined. Friends and family, if you're loving what you're seeing thus far, you know what to do. Click on that like button. Give me a thumbs up for a job well done. All the ingredients used today are abundantly available at any grocery store. To store your curry powder, all you need is an airtight container, like a mason jar. Store it perfectly for years. This is way better than the store-bought version. Now, if you do want to make your curry powder slightly spicy, you can always introduce cayenne pepper or red pepper flakes and just blend them all together and you'll get that kick. You want to stir this until it is perfectly combined, all right? And I think we have done exactly that. Beautiful people, I hope you enjoyed yourself with me right here in the Nabis Kitchen. If you did, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Also, share this video with everyone you know. If you haven't subscribed yet, I feel now is the opportunity to do so. And don't forget that bell after subscribing so you don't miss out on the next video. Make it a great day and have fun, especially in that kitchen.